Greetings, Church. This is uh, Kevin Duclaron. Today is uh, Thursday, the 9th, I believe, of um, November 2023. And I am right now at the Rockwood Public Library um, enjoying some lunch. <laughs> Over here, here's my, it's my lunchtime hour. And uh, that's me enjoying some lunch at the Rockwood Library. I'm having some uh, noodles. Um, banana chips um, and a tuna fish sandwich and then uh, that's my drink over there some coffee a soda and uh, a pastry in there uh, this is the work for the day we're gonna work on um, finishing repaginating the book and also finishing on putting holes in um, in the work that um, that God has given us to do so, as I do that, as I eat my lunch here, I wanted to share with you. Yesterday, I um, very eventful day. I was um, hit in the evening, um, pretty much all night long with that. Uh, very painful when I woke up. Uh, needle, <laughs> feel like somebody just uh, took me through the the whole acupuncture process. Very painful, and um, I didn't like it. And so in the morning, I didn't go to the police department, and I didn't go to the uh, municipal uh, building. Instead, I went to um, <clears throat> I went to the U.S. Immigration. This building right here. This is the um, building that I went to, and I didn't go inside, but I stood outside across the street, and. Um, and spoke to them uh, about the gospel. <laughs> uh, they were not very ha happy, <laughs> uh, I assure you. Um, we're gonna switch from this picture here to this one, okay? So this is a, a bit of a, a close-up um, to the uh, building. And when I spoke to them, I spoke to them as the U.S. Citizenship um, and immigration sex services building and basically the gist of the whole talk was about um, I came out of uh, Mark 7 21 through 23 and used this Bible here and I read them this passage of the scriptures you see here I used two passages of the scriptures that when I spoke to them talked to them about people there was a map in one of the um, they have a five-story tower. So on the fifth floor of the tower, um, I saw a map there, so I used the map. This is a similar map. It's not the same map, but it's a similar map. And I made reference to the fact that they are the correction. They are the correction to what, um, basically, the government of this generation um, is the correction of what, <coughs> this government has done the, the government I also use this here to preach the gospel to them um, I use the Constitution I use the constitutional law and I also use this here and basically what I said was that these people here established this tower all over the country to correct what the settlers had done when the settlers came into the country um, it was whips and chains on African slaves and the genocide of Native Americans and so what these people have done over the course of time is establish this tower here um, all over the United States so that these nations these nations do not repeat what the British had done uh, 500 years ago four five hundred years ago when they first came so this here is this here is a correction so anybody that comes from these countries now have to do it this way in other words there has to be a certificate of citizenship um, they give you where's my certificate here I think I have a certificate there is a certificate you get a certificate of citizenship You get a, a citizenship certificate and you get a booklet 
and the booklet this is the booklet here of the law right so you get citizenship and the law um, out of um, these towers they're all over New York City all over uh, um, they're in New York California any state that you go into so that now every single person who wants to become a citizen of the United States from any of these countries right have to have these two documents to live in the country right um, what I did was I added the Bible as another document um, that they need to have when they become citizen of this country um, and what I explained was um, was that people are coming from all over the world but there is something that immigration is overlooking what immigration is overlooking comes from this passage of the Bible here and uh, Mark 7 21 through 23 says uh, it says beginning in verse 20 it says uh, and he said what comes out of a person is what defiles him for from within out of the heart of man comes evil thoughts sexual immorality theft murder adultery coveting wickedness deceit sensuality envy slander pride foolishness all these evil things come from within and they defile a person and then um, so as a result and that's what's coming out of every single one of these individuals here um, to enter the United States to receive this. Um, and all the government is concerned about is that they follow these rules. Uh, problem is, what um, immigration is not aware of is this fallen nature that God is talking about um, that is in these people, these different nations and different tribes. Um, so I basically went into the back of the book here. In the back is you have um, it's the it's the Gideon's New Testament, and I said to and I spoke to them about God's love, um, all our sinners, God's remedy for sin, their response receiving Christ. Um, I read this to them, right, um, and I told them they need a copy of this because the issue is not um, only uh, citizenship here in the United States, but it's also citizenship in heaven above. In other words, they did all of this to correct what the first settlers did so that other nations don't do it, but they're missing one point, the very thing that they overlooked, which is the nature of, of man. The nature of man from any of these nations here is to basically sin, right? All have sin and to commit murders and acts of violence and acts of immorality, right? This little it, word right there changes everything this is what they what they don't see in man which is what brought me to them and it's like hey you know what you gave me the naturalization certificate you gave me the law um, but these people that are coming into the country they're sex traffickers they're child molesters they're murderers they're butchers just like the Word of God says and basically what God does is he sends his son and then he sends the apostles and the prophets and he's been trying to redeem man uh, redeem correct the correction that they made in erecting this tower here so that people don't brutally come into the United States other nations don't brutally come into the United States and um, take over you know um, and bring slaves that correction is the same as this correction here God sending the Son and um, to deal with what they overlooked, right? What they overlooked here is the nature of each of these individual people, right? They overlook it and they just deal with uh, the application, they deal with uh, preamble, taking the test, making sure they know who the U.S. presidents are, but they're overlooking the one thing that is important, which is the nature of man. So what the Son does is he comes down he deals with the nature of man and what's the nature of man sin right uh, man has been turned over to to sin man has been turned over to sin so the very thing that we um, the very thing that immigration overlooks the church cannot uh, and the reason why the church cannot is because of the new citizenship which is what the Sun brings and the citizenship is in heaven I'm going to read this to you coming out of Philippians and then, you know, and the kicker was, 
tell you here in a minute. So when you go to Philippians 3, Philippians 3 says this, and I, I think I read beginning in verse 17, Philippians 3, 17 through 21, it says, Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the examples you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you, and now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. It says that their end is destruction, their God is, is, is their belly, and their glory is in their shame, with um, minds set on earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power uh, that enables him even to subject all things to himself. The issue, verse 20, our citizenship is in heaven. They do all of this. Um, the citizenship is in heaven. We do so much um, for these people, right, to become citizen of the United States, right? Overlooking the fact that they're turned over, Romans, uh, Romans 1, 18 through 32. Um, we put up these towers, right, for these people and overlooking the fact that there is another citizenship. And it's the citizenship that takes place after you die, um, after you leave the body behind, after you leave these towers and you leave the jobs, the home, the immorality, all of that. You got to go and um, deal with and stand before the judgment seat of God and Christ just in your spirit and in your your soul and your spirit to deal with the issue of citizenship and you in the same way you can't live in the United States without knowing the law and without the certificate neither because we have a certificate of debt that that was nailed to the cross well neither can we enter into heaven to become its citizenship without the spirit of god without dealing with the issue of mark 7 21 through 23 which is the sin nature what the government overlooks so that we become citizens of the united states christ says you cannot overlook that in order to come into heaven to become citizens of my kingdom so he deals with the issue and he calls man to stop sinning and he calls man to uh, repent of their sins. So that was the message that I gave to them yesterday. And the heartbreak was after <laughs> after I had preached this um, sermon to them, I had to go do that um, in, um, in 122nd. Very painful. Um, and it was supposed to be an in and out ordeal, but I was told stop. Um, Apparently they wanted to, they wanted to snake me. Um, they wanted to judge me. They they wanted to judge me with this, with snakes, um, because of the because of the message that I had given to them, and it and that was my rebuttal for what they did the night before with the piercing, and um, what they did in taking that from me without my consent. So that was my rebuttal, and unfortunately I had to come out like that and give them the gospel. But I wanted to warn them, you know, these people that are coming into your country. You're giving them all sorts of permission, but you don't know when they come with kids what their intentions are. You have no idea what's in the heart and the mind of these people. And plus, when they make contact with Americans that are already here, you know, the Native Americans, African Americans, Spanish American, all these other countries, when they make contact with them, they change. They become a different person. They become a different people because of sin. Anyway, that was the update. I wanted you guys to know um, what was going on. Uh, Lord says my food's getting mm. so let you to be updated with what was going on and um, so you have an idea of where I'm at now after this after I'm done eating here washing my hands freshen up we're back to doing this again and I think I might have a second video so this is video one and so the third video I'll probably have it sitting here so you know that I'm the author of this this text here that I'm gonna be bull punching all right so see you in the future in a few minutes here